GemIDEM was originally designed for cell phenotype identification in the context of a tissue sample. In this demo, we will process a tissue scan created by the Bacus Labs Bliss Automated Microscopy System. I'll create a new project in the directory of the scan files. GemIDEM is well integrated with the Bliss image scan file format. I'll now initiate the training helper, which will display a thumbnail view of the entire scan. This tissue is an immunohistic immunohistochemically stained lymph node from a patient with breast cancer, and it was imaged at 20x. The blue is a background counter stain for all nuclei. The red is fast red on AE1, AE3, which is a stain for breast cancer. And the brown is DAB on CD1A, and it looks for dendritic cells. In this demo, we will, we will be attempting to identify only the cancer nuclei. We can load the bliss sub-images by clicking anywhere. Let's start with color training. We first load a representative image. We observe that there are three relevant colors. Red from the cancer membrane. Blue for the counterstain nuclei. And the third is the background white and the bluish grayish intercellular matrix. We'll call this white. Let's give GemIDEN 10 examples of each color. That should be sufficient. Let's start with red. I'm going to change the display color to white so I can see my training points with good contrast. Notice that as I train, GemIDEN keeps a running representative sample of the color. If I make a mistake, I see the image become heterogeneous. I can delete the wrong point by using spacebar to toggle between mark and delete. The training points must be exact, so the use of the magnifier window on the right is encouraged. I can increase or decrease the zoom by pressing the plus or minus buttons. Let's finish up this training. Let's also change the, the uh, display color of blue with something with a little bit more contrast. Let's be sure to include some examples from the intercellular matrix as well. Now, we need to hardwire the color information to the gem ident. We do this by pressing the compute button for each color. The reason for this deals with the internals of the gem ident artificial intelligence engine. We'll let these compute and move on to the more interesting phenotype training step. Again, the one and only phenotype is the cancer nucleus. I will name it here by calling it CANSEN for short. Let's color the training points neon green for contrast. Now let's load an image with lots of cancer and begin training. I'm trying to click the centers as best as I can. We must also give GemIDEN an idea of how large the cancer nucleus is. We can do that by adjusting the R max value. Notice the helper display image gives small examples. I think it's a size of 13 is about right. Mm -hmm. 
Note that sometimes the presence of a, a nucleus is ambiguous. It helps to consult with tissue experts while training. Let's load another example image for a more diverse sample. I think about 30 is th I think about 30 various examples are enough. Now remember from the previous demo that GemIDEN also requires knowledge of what the opposite of a cancer nucleus looks like. This is the non. Let's begin by giving examples of a membrane. Now the background with the non-specifically stained nuclei. Now I should give it edge examples so GemIdent learns not to include the edges of cancer nuclei and it learns to separate nuclei from each other when they're closely clustered. Notice when I place a dot, GemIdent includes many nearby pixels. This is optimal for beefing up the data set but gets in the way of this sensitive edge training. Let's reduce the number of pixels to a radius of 1 by adjusting the R min. And we'll continue training.